My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We have one of the nicest Gen 2 Camaros on the planet right here. It's a 1973 Camaro RS Pro Touring. Right here, Speed Tech Performance. That's a company, they build performance products that you could buy for your car. They also have a shop, they'll build your car for you. This was the owner's personal car. So the owner of Speed Tech built this car for himself. This car would cost about $300,000 to duplicate today. And I tell you what, it's dialed in. They know what they're doing. They use this car to represent their business at the different shows and they had it at their booth. Uh, there's videos of it online. Uh, Richard Rawlings drove this car on one of his TV shows. Uh, this thing is dialed in. Great on the road. You want to go out and cruise and go get ice cream or uh, go find some back roads to tear up, it'll do that. If you want to go to a track, it'll do that. You want to put the air conditioning on, no problem. It'll do it all. It's responsive. This thing stops, steers, shifts uh, like super tight. So go to volocars.com. Uh, there's lots of information that comes with this book, this build book here. Uh, and that's volocars.com where you can check out the information, the pictures. That's where you'll find a price tag on every one of our cars, along with a monthly finance payment as well. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon. You'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But right now, buckle up, let's go for a spin. Yeah, isn't that thing just stunning to look at as well? Uh, not only is it a performer, but it's a looker. The stance, the wheels, uh, there's so many details. I've been nervous about this car the last few days. It's like studying for a big exam. Like, how am I going to memorize uh, all this stuff? How am I going to catch every detail? But again, keep in mind, it was the owner of Speed Tech's personal car, so you know this thing is dialed in, and you know it's off the charts. So... Obviously, body off frame, I'm actually going to refer to some of my notes here because uh, underneath has a Speed Tech chassis, uh, and what's included in that up front is a custom subframe with all the best components available, uh, aircraft spec forged aluminum spindles, uh, heavy-duty power rack and pinion steering, uh, adjustable splined sway bar, adjustable coilover shocks, uh, in back is their uh, adjustable torque arm suspension. So it has the uh, big bar in the middle attached to the rear end. Um, <clears throat> and with that, uh, it's all fully adjustable, everything in the back. It has an Articulink lower control arms, a panhard bar system, and also a coilover gas shocks uh, and sway bar. Uh, custom fabricated, TIG welded, stainless steel exhaust, three inch pipe, crossover pipe, Black Widow mufflers. If you know anything about cars, you can just look at the exhaust and you can appreciate the time that went into that. This car is low to the ground and when you start putting three inch pipe and you gotta wiggle it around everything and go all the way out the back, that's not easy to do. They did it and it looks beautiful and it sounds even better. You'll hear it towards the end of this video. Uh, the best brakes, it has Bear Pro Plus brake system. They're 14 inch slotted discs at each wheel. Six piston calipers, even in the back. Usually they just go four in the back. Usually it's four in the front. Um, the e-brake assembly, all the fuel lines, of course, all that's redone. And the brake calipers are a cool looking like copper color. Um, the fuel system, it's an aeromotive fuel cell, all the fittings, the fuel pump, all of that's top notch. T56 six speed trans, quick time bell housing, a twin plate clutch, aluminum flywheel. And I can tell you, it's just like click, click, click into the gears. Everything's very responsive. Uh, custom aluminum drive shaft uh, connects to a Speedway 9-inch rear, aluminum center section, true track, 389 gears. The car is all new metal. They joked about it. Uh, there's actually an interview with the owner 
uh, on YouTube, and they joked about it that the only thing original is the roof, but they did an amazing job. And that would be the floors as well. So it's all new floors, uh, so perfectly clean. It has a nice thin coat of like a rubberized uh, black chip guard under there. Uh, cadmium plated bolts everywhere. So underneath this car, it uh, looks beautiful, but it is set up. It is dialed in. The body's amazing. Even the guys around here is like, wow, uh, the body is absolutely incredible. Uh, we have a rally sport front end. That's where the nose sticks out and has different light configurations. Uh, this is a genuine carbon fiber hood with the bulge. Uh, some fancy uh, clips to open it. We'll show those a little bit later. And this body is absolutely, I mean, it, it's a black mirror. It's a black piece of glass. I don't see any dents, no dings. Of course, there's no rust, no damage. Uh, absolutely straight. It, it is like looking in a mirror. No issues, no, a lot of times these will start to twist and crack. None of that here. It's all pristine metal. Uh, carbon fiber front and rear spoiler, carbon fiber bumpers. So the body is amazing. Uh, the paint is incredible. If you study it, you'll find minor flaws. These are some sticky tires, so way down low. There are little tiny rock chips behind the tires. Uh, so you'd have to look close to find an imperfection. Uh, it also has carbon fiber mirrors. And a lot of the trim is wrapped with a carbon fiber wrap in the door handles and the locks. The wheels, forge line wheels. I have the sizes here. All new smoked glass. Even the windshield is smoked glass. Yeah, forge line, forge line wheels, 12 inch wide in front, 11 in front, 12 in back. Now, 11 inch wide wheel in front, that's pretty impressive. They put wider inner fenders, and then they get everything to work without rubbing. This thing is slammed down, and it all, like I said, it's all dialed in. It doesn't rub, bump, or grind. Uh, and they have performance BFG rival tires. Uh, there's obviously custom lighting throughout. Uh, it has tinted lenses. They're HID headlights, I believe, LED taillights. They're all smoked. Uh, car's just incredible. So why don't we open it up, tell you all about that motor, and show you the interior. So inside the trunk compartment, obviously painted beautifully, the jam and under the trunk lid. Uh, the whole car is uh, done in Dynamat. It's a sound deadener. Yeah, here's the aeromotive uh, fuel cell and, again, premium lines and fittings. There's a gel cell battery. Uh, the roll cage is functional. comes right into the trunk. Uh, if you open this here, there's a disconnect key you can even take with you. Uh, disables the car. I love the offset of the wheels. They're, uh, the center of the wheel and back is pushed much further in than in the front. It's a TMI interior, uh, door panels, seats. Also has carbon fiber trim inside on top of the doors and where the armrest would be is genuine carbon fiber. The gauges are from, uh, I think it's Speed Hut, and it has like a carbon fiber background. They're custom uh, picked out for this car. Carbon fiber dash insert. It's a tilt grant wheel. An adjuster for the brakes. Uh, this is all carbon fiber trim. Vintage air controls, very neat and tidy. It's got a real cool shift handle. Uh, power windows, custom console. Custom carpet, one of the seats is like a suede and leather. Uh, here's the buckles, this really holds you in place. Now, if you notice, it does have a tiger cage uh, roll bar. You see how it's nice and low, so it makes it a little more challenging to get in, but it's much better than a bar that you gotta really climb over, and it is a tilt wheel. And then the uh, back seat is all upholstered to match. I see some big speakers back there. There must be a stereo hidden in here somewhere. Um, carbon fiber rear wheel wells. 
new headliner. So inside's decked out very tastefully, functionally. I have some nice pedals that your feet won't slip off of. <clears throat> and the real purpose of carbon fiber, it's super lightweight. Uh, and these uh, hood pins I told you about, you just push them. And that's what locks them in place. So, the motor. I'm going to get my spec sheet out again. Now, these are extra wide. They're carbon fiber, extra wide wheel wells for them 11-inch wide wheels in the front. Uh, but we've got an LS motor. Uh, it's 406 cubic inch, putting out 640 horsepower. Uh, and all sorts of goodies, you know, all sorts of custom work's been done to it. Look at the uh, intake. A lot of these parts that are either powder coated or painted that uh, like smoky bronze color. Okay, so it's an LS motor built by Texas Speed. Uh, we have spec sheets in that binder. Uh, it's a Holly high ram intake. We got MSD ignition. Uh, Spear Tech made the custom wiring harness. Uh, it has stainless steel headers. Uh, vintage air system, look at the radiator, look at all the custom uh, hoses and fittings, carbon fiber uh, filler panel up front, this piece here was custom cut, carbon fiber uh, intake tube, it has dual electric fans, a serpentine belt system, custom valve covers, uh, billet hinges, looks like MSD coil packs, um, the pedal system's different. There's a Willwood uh, reverse pedal system, they call it, but I'm just noticing uh, some of the reservoirs there. I don't know if that's for the brakes and the clutch. But far more than I can list uh, here, but all, all the stuff, uh, any questions you have can be answered. Uh, the owner uh, that required the car from uh, is very knowledgeable about the car. So, but all you need to know is it runs like a monster. <laughs>